I want to make as much money as I can when selling my comics on eBay. So I don't want to price them too low and miss out on some of those dollars, but I also don't want to price them too high and never make a sale. I mean, I'd rather have a little bit of money than no money. So how do I price my comics? All right, well, something that's challenging about pricing comics is that their fair market value fluctuates over time. And so just like a stock goes up and down in value, so do comics. And of course, as you probably know, comics do this usually based on the excitement that people have about a certain character. And so this is a comic that I just listed today, and I'm going to go through why I have priced it, as you can see, at $34.95. And this is actually the second copy of this book that I have sold in the past couple of months. And I'm actually starting it at a different value than I did the first one. And again, that's because the market on this book has changed. I actually sold the first one for a little bit more than this one. Uh, but I expect to hopefully get about like this, and I'll, I'll explain why. Uh, but I expect this book to start going down in value after the show is over in a few weeks. So that's why I want to make sure that I am selling it now. So the question we have to ask isn't how much do I want for this book, but how much are people paying for this book right now? And so what I do and what I think is the easiest thing to do. So I wanted to sell Sensational She-Hulk number one. I go up to the search bar. You can see I made the search today. Uh, Sensational She-Hulk number one. When I just did that, I got like a billion listings of other She-Hulks. So I was more specific. I went to 1989. And that pretty much just, <laughs> you can see the top listing, not exclusively, but brings up most of the comic I'm trying to sell. And then you see people have it listed for, you know, 35 or, uh, you know, auctions that are 1499, 1609, nine, yeah, nine bids. So I can see kind of what people have it listed for, but what really matters isn't what it's listed for, for, but what it's been selling at. And so what I can do is go all the way down here and you can go to show only on the left hand and then you can click sold items. And so now I can see what this book has actually been selling for. So we see a copy sold for 20, but then we see one sold for 40. Uh, then we see back to 23, 20, 20, but here's another one. You know, best offer was, you know, so we don't know exactly what this sold for, but maybe like 35, uh, 25. And so what I'll do, I will usually look maybe because yeah, time is money too. So I don't want to spend too much time doing this, but I'll look at like the top 10 listings. Here's another one for $34.99 uh, and get an idea of the range people have been buying this book at. And so we see the range has really been between about 20 and 35, maybe $40 on occasion. And on a book like this, you know, most copies are going to be high grade copies because it's a new copy. A, you know, a newer comic. If it's like a Silver Age comic, I'll actually click on the listing so I can see what, you know, what the condition is because price depends on that a lot more. Uh, but uh, you have to go to see original listing. But, you know, this is probably going to be a high grade copy. You can look at it. Yeah. Yeah. What I expect. They're all probably going to look like this. This is what mine looks like. Mine doesn't have this little, you know, spine tick here. Mine's pretty clean. So I don't feel like I need to go look at the, pictures I can see. Okay, 20 to 35, maybe $40. And so what do I want to price mine at? Well, what I always do, unless I think a book is going to dip really quickly, is that I will start at the high end of that range. So like I said, most of the copies were between 20 and 35. So today, I set the price on this book at $34.95, which is on the high end of that range. Really, you know, all, usually I would have even gone a little higher, $39.95 maybe, because we did see some copies sell for about $40. But because, you know, I, I think I need to sell this book within a couple of months, I didn't start as high as I would a book that, you know, I'm not in any, any rush to sell. But this one, I'm in, you know, moderate rush. Uh, so I went a little lower than the very highest. 
But of course, there's the very real reality that this book doesn't sell for $34.95. And I always put my listings, you know, I accept best offer. Uh, so if somebody you know, offered me like 31 or 32 tonight, I'd go ahead and accept that. That's close enough. But what I will do if this doesn't sell after a week, I will go over here and you can go to revise. And then I can just revise the listing. And I don't want to revise it too much here in case somebody sees this. But let's just pretend. Usually, usually if this went like a week unsold, I would probably drop it to $32.95, then maybe $30.95. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. But we'll we'll do a little adjustment just so you can see. We'll say, oh, I'm going to drop this by 45 cents. It's not selling. So I just do that and then revise it. And there it is now, 34.50. Now, you know, once or twice a week, I'll go in and reprice all of my books that have been sitting there. And how I reprice them will depend on a few factors. One I already mentioned do I feel like I need to sell this book sooner rather than later? So I put up a few She-Hulk books today. You can see, you know, these. this one's got the first appearance of Frogman. Uh, so I want to sell these books before this show is over. Uh, but now here, here's a Detective Comics 475 uh, that I'm in no rush to sell. You know, there's no special reason this book is more valuable now than others. I don't expect it to fluctuate like the She-Hulk books. Uh, so I'll be more conservative when I'm repricing this one than I am the ones that I need to sell more quickly. So that's one factor yeah, in my repricing. Do I need to move this book sooner than rather than later? And in fact, if I feel like I really need to move it quick, I'd, I'll even put this book up for an auction. And I'll make another video sometime about buy nows versus auctions. Not going to get into that now. But if I'm on really time crunch, I think then I'll, I'll put it up for auction. But uh, if, if again, if, if I am in a, cr in a crunch, then I will be more aggressive in readjusting the price on this one than I will on the Detective Comics 475. Another thing that affects how aggressive I am, this is kind of a neat feature, you can see how many views you've gotten on this book since it's listed. And so if there's a book like this one, you know, it's got this one again, I just put up today. So it doesn't have time. This one's got 54 views. This has got 43 views, you know, about the same, uh, you know, they're doing pretty well, but then you've got the Sandman 21, which has only had two views. And so, yeah, I, I can tell, oh, people really aren't interested in that book at the price it's in. And so I'm going to be, again, a lot more aggressive in dropping that one, another one that would be in that category. Star Wars 40, uh, <laughs> it sadly has gotten zero views. So I know that clearly nobody's interested in this at that price. Uh, there were sales that were near that price earlier. Uh, so I thought there'd be more interest, but obviously the market has simply changed on it. And so $24.95 is not the market value. And so, you know, come Tuesday was when I often uh, adjust, usually Tuesdays and Fridays is when I adjust the prices. Uh, yeah, I'll probably drop this by $5, you know, really quickly. But a book like this, the Detective Comics 475, yeah, I see there's a lot of views. I've got some watchers, which, you yeah, know, means there's more interest in it. Uh, another video, again, I'll, I'll talk more about how to you know, use watchers to your advantage. Uh, but for the purpose of this, I'm not going to get to it. Uh, for for this book, I might only adjust it a couple of dollars, or I might wait two or three weeks before readjusting the price. It all depends on how much interest I see in the book. The more interest there is in the book, then of course, the more slowly I'm going to adjust those prices. So that's pretty much how I price my books. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer them and maybe do a whole video about another question. You know, there's lots of more things we could be talking about, but this is where I'm going to end today. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would encourage you to consider doing so. We're counting down to our 400 subscriber giveaway when at that point I will be giving away four Spider-Woman number ones 
And to get an entry in that drawing, first of all, you get one for subscribing, uh, but then you get one for every comment you leave on a video, beginning with my 300 subscriber uh, giveaway. And so, you know, go back and watch some of my old videos if you haven't, leave comments on those, and keep getting your entries in, because we are very close. We're about 20 subscribers away, and I'm looking forward to that drawing. Like the video, comment, all those kinds of things that help our channel out. All right, look forward to the next one.